<laughs> Brad, he's some investor dude that I sent my deck to. And instead of money, he sent me a feedback video. What? What? We have to fight back as founders. And I'm naming him and I'm shaming him and whatever I'm... Whatever. Hashtag VC leaks. Check out what he's saying about Pony. Hey Chris, Brad Longtail here, Senior Partnerships and Communication Operator at Aeneas and Horse Whips. As you know, we invest in the most underserved and underrepresented founders, building businesses in e-mobility, equine mobility. And as you well know, our portfolio includes the big names like eHay, Bumblebee, and recently Pelican. So I'm going to go through your deck, um, point out some things that I liked, and also point out some reasons why we're not going to invest in this round. All right, Chris, so um, first things first, the name. VCs can tell the scalability of a company simply by its name. It's a third sense of such. I don't even know what that is. Ah, or po pony. Is it British? Maybe it's Asian. No, it looks Asian. That's an umlaut. That's not Asian. That's German. All right, let's move on. E-scooters, of course, we're in mobility. Oh, okay, the solution is ponies. You're a pomo play, a pony mobility play. That's very much in our sweet spot. So you've got some great brand ambassadors there. Of course, the Pony King, we love that. But I'm not convinced on the branding, if I'm honest with you. Um, and Chris, I'm gonna do something that I don't do to most founders. I'm gonna give you a few examples of brands I think you should model yourself on. So uh, here are a few logos. We've got Lime, Tesla, SpaceX, and of course, our most recent investment, Bird, which is a B2B, bird-to-bird uh, -bird egg warming service. I think you can get some inspiration from that logo there. So product for all use cases, Pony X, the existing model. Pony Black, well, everybody knows black is cooler. So Centurion, baby. Black and metal. Pony Black SUV, six-legged ponies. I can only imagine you get them from the Chernobyl breed and pony pool being seasonally aware something i don't see too many founders providing a product for seasonality it happens every season yeah, i'm going to be straight shooting here of course the nra will like that one too and beyond pony this is really a circular economy play i see you've gone full to fillet what i like about that is you amortize the lifetime value of a pony so the one thing that's missing for me here chris i would have liked to see is the ltpv the lifetime pony value. He also fails to mention our amazing revenue stream, Pony Manure. That gives us a strong wheat tech angle, which is something that all the other investors we're talking to really love. So what are you missing, Brad? Traction, okay, I see you've got some decent testing here, a benchmark analysis with the Cybertruck. One thing I would like to see from you is if, like the Cybertruck, you have shatterproof ponies. Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. Maybe you can do a promo video about that, Chris. There we go, that's some more free advice for you, my friend. What a fucking wanker! Stupid advice for us to use shatterproof ponies? We're only using shatterproof ponies, all of them, exclusively, obviously, anybody would do that. All right, on the beta testing front, I see you've done some testing. I do question the validity of that test. Getting back to the scalability of the operations, I see you've provided the super carrot infrastructure network, um, that makes sense. However, I do have to question the carrot crisis of 08. We all remember how that impacted the carrot economy. Um, and the one thing, the one KPI I'm missing from this, Chris, is the carrot per kilometer. And I just wanna give you a few, a few examples. That's how you work out the carrot per kilometer. The carrot per kilometer calculation was pretty good. The team, finally we get to the team. Chris, as you know, we invest in teams that Equine execute over time. We've got Edam Altman, he's a creative one. Uh, I think we've been talking to him actually in the past about special purpose acquisition companies. And Kravis Talanik, uh, of course, Chief Muffin Officer. I recognize that guy, great company builder. So you do have some possibilities within the team. And then he doesn't even mention our amazing influencer marketing because we're planning Pony Festival. It's gonna be fire. So Chris, thanks for sending your deck to Anais and Horse Whips. I hope you benefit from some of my insight and wisdom in this video. I hope you take some of that and apply it into the business. Um, but the real reasons we're not going to participate in this round is that, Chris, quite honestly, in these processes, we do a very basic amount of due diligence. And all I needed to do was to go into your Instagram account 
and you look more like a fashion blogger than an equine founder. What's he fucking talking about, fashion blogger? I've been an equine founder for years. I've done Ride My Pony, the Airbnb for ponies, P2P location-based pony rentals. You don't wanna invest, that's fine, because we want this guy's money anyway, because the fit with his basketball team is just perfect. So guess what, Brad? You're not gonna be invited to our IPO party, our initial pony offering party. I'm gonna make Pony a billion dollar company and you. We done here? Okay, cool. I gotta go kite surfing. Can you get me an ice cream? You go kite surf and eat ice cream while we build billion dollar companies because we're real equine entrepreneurs, unlike you. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.